this is the time you really need to be good at communicating how good you are, how good you are at your service, how good your product is, etc. So you have to improve your marketing too. When a company is marketing itself, mm -hmm. are they trying to retain customers? Are they trying to attract new customers? In this economy, you need to do both. Um, I advise people when times are tough, the first place you want to look for new business is old customers. Um, that's always the best place and the fastest place. That's the low-hanging fruit, if you will. So um, that's the first place to go. But then um, in, a, in a tough economy like this, you may have got your business from five miles around your location or you know, 100 miles if it's, if it's a larger business. Uh, so now you need to expand that to get the same amount of business. You might have to go out further. Um, so that would tend to say, well, I might have to go from you know, neighborhood mailings to electronic, or I might have to go from a, a local paper to a regional paper if possible. I certainly should use the internet too. So. Is it possible to promote your message, promote your company, and still tighten your belt? Uh, yes, uh, if you're doing it the right way. Um, you have to be uh, smart about uh, your choices in media. Uh, certainly you can't stop. But again, um, you go back to your old customers. That's a little less expensive way to get, be get uh, your message out. You should use publicity, use a little bit of PR, uh, but also be more uh, selective in your choice of media. But uh, what will help you more than anything is crafting your message so that people can understand it more clearly. Uh, most people have way more uh, copy and information and ads and, and messages than they should. You should focus on one message every time you advertise, uh, and most people just kind of clutter that up. Do business owners know what they're doing when they promote themselves, or do most of them need a professional? Well, in these types of um, economic times, marketing consultants such as Ferris Marketing actually get a lot of inquiries. Uh, this is when our business tends to go up. When there's problems, they tend to come to us. We've got 27 years experience, so we've seen downturns before, not quite this severe, but the principles remain the same. Um, uh, you're going to remember that no matter what you sell, you're a marketer of that service. The first step uh, in gaining revenue in any business is selling. So um, when you get better at creating a better sales presentation, um, putting ads together and getting them out there, promoting your product, trade shows, whatever venue you use, um, when you're better at it, you're going to sell more. So um, using a consultant um, sometimes makes a lot of sense because it helps you get sharp, uh, focus your message, and you'll get a little better return.